All right, let's take a look at the questions for deductive reasoning. Our first example, A, says, if Central High School wins, they go to a regional tournament. And then says, Central High School won. So what we have is an A, B, A, B statement. Our first, our first statement, A, says, if Central High School wins. And then our B statement says, they go to a regional tournament. Then we have a reflection of our A statement down here below that is our, our part of our logical deduction. It says Central High School won. So based on the original statement, if Central High School wins, then they go to a regional tournament. Well, Central High School won, so that means that Central High School will go to regionals. So we can deduce that based on the fact that A was true and A leads to B is true, then B must be true. So let's take a look at the next one. Our next example says, if A and B are a linear pair, then the measure of A plus the measure of B is 180 degrees. Then our statement is angle ABC and angle CBD are a linear pair. So we have our A statement here, if A and B are a linear pair, and our B statement, then measure A plus measure B is 180. Then we have measure or uh, angle ABC and angle CBD are a linear pair, so that's a reflection of statement A. So that tells us that angle ABC plus angle CBD must equal 180 degrees. So very similar, just like the last one, we have statement A leads to B, and we know that's true. So then if we have statement A is true, then statement B must also be true. Yeah? Okay. And then on to example C. Example C says, determine a conclusion from the statements below and it specifies that the statements are true. It says that babies wear diapers, and then my little brother does not wear diapers. So our A statement is really, it's kind of, our A statement really is just babies, and our B statement is di uh, diapers. So A leads to B. If, a, if someone is a baby, they wear a diaper. And then it says my little brother does not wear diapers. So this is an example of our contrapositive rule. It says that we have if A uh, leads to B is true, then not B must mean not A. So not A would be my little brother. Brother is not a baby. Yeah, so based on our contrapositive rule, we can verify that this is true. If babies wear diapers is true, then if B, the, the B part of it is not true, then the, B, the A part of it is also, or the, the not A part of it is true. So if babies wear diapers and his little brother is, does not wear diapers, then he's not a baby. That's it.